You guys ready? Oh, you know I've been ready. Top 10 fall essentials, let's go. All right, where are we going first? Where are we going first? We got a lot of apparel in this. The sneaker and the boot talk will be here soon. Don't worry about that. I do have some sneakers in here, but mostly apparel in here. Okay, unique low this fall season and you know, most fall seasons always has some good stuff, but I feel like this year, they've been exceptionally on point. We've got a plaid overshirt jacket. Now, I usually feel a little bit different about Uniqlo. Most people swear by it. Me, you know, it's kind of hit or miss, but this guy right here, definitely a hit. It has more structure than most shirt jackets have. The collar is what I like most. See how rugged and sturdy that collar is? I like a collar that has good structure to it. Two front pockets, a rough polyester on the outside, so this could have been, you know, a little bit nicer of a material, but for 80 bucks, you know, that's a pretty affordable price. It is lined though, so that is not gonna be touching your skin. Whew, Todd Snyder found a gem on sale. This Todd Snyder bomber jacket in this royal blue, I had to get it. It was priced at 428 and at that price, no chance. I'm paying that, especially for what it is. I'm glad I waited till it went on sale and it went heavily on sale. I don't know if it's still available or not. If it is, I will link it for you down in the description, but it is a good one. It has a quilted pattern across it and that drew me in in the first place and the royal blue is why I stayed. It's a down jacket with a tan inner lining and it just, it had that feeling of an older Eddie Bauer jacket, which uh, I'm all about. Next up, I'm sure you've seen that crochet was popular this summer. Well, that trend is carrying through to the fall and Abercrombie obviously has a lot of stuff that is on trend and this cardigan fits the bill. But I will say the, the design of it has your undershirt showing off and if it is cold where you are, I don't think this is gonna keep you very warm. This is that layer that you would throw on underneath a puffer jacket or something and wear out to a nice dinner and wear this while you're eating or something. It does hold a nice structure unbuttoned though and that is one thing that I liked about it. Back to Unique Low, I grabbed one of their ultra light down vests in a golden yellow. Now this one I liked because it is, it's super lightweight. It's just something that you will hardly even realize is on, but will still keep you warm. The color is certainly fall appropriate. If you don't have a vest in your rotation this fall, then you're losing out, especially if you rock hoodies and there actually aren't any hoodies on this list. And is that because I don't think they're essential? Absolutely not. They're just gonna get their own dedicated video. J. Crew, holler at me. Look at the pattern on here. This nice purple paisley, incredible. I think I paid 50 bucks for this, maybe even less. This checks a lot of boxes for the price. So if you're someone that likes a lot of color in their closet, like I do, you wear a lot of different sneakers and you need some different options that'll go with those, but you know, not spending a couple hundred dollars on each clothing piece that you buy. Sneaker time. New Balance and Ame Leondor did a collaboration again. So we've got the New Balance T500. This is premium stuff on here. A very simple tennis sneaker and I bought them not knowing how they were gonna fit. I went ahead and grabbed a size 12. They definitely fit big. So I probably could have gone with an 11 and a half or an 11, went back to get a different size and they're sold out. Is it the end of the world? No, throw on some wool socks and they'll fit just fine. Are they worth returning or selling? Nah, they're not that big on me, but they fit a little roomy. If you missed out on these, an alternative is the Nike Air Force One. This specific colorway I just 
featured in my top five best Nike Air Force Ones that you can buy right now. Go check that video out. It features obviously five different Air Force Ones and a lot of Nike fall clothing, which is surprisingly really good this season. And this Harrington jacket was in the video. This is a very simple zip up jacket, corduroy material, solo swoosh there on the left side in black. It's not often that you see an article of clothing with a collar on it from Nike. You know, it's, it's an athletic brand, so a lot of times you don't see stuff like this from them, and I was pleasantly surprised. This is truly that essential item that you can throw on and make your Nike gear look a little bit more elevated or sophisticated. Price point is reasonable, and I will link it for you guys down in the description. Go check out that top five Nike Air Force One video as well. Let's talk pants. This is one of the best pairs of pants that you can buy for the price that everyone overlooks. They're like, I don't need those. They're not flashy, they're not sexy. I don't need to buy khakis. Well, this particular pair is so good for the price point, you're almost doing yourself a disservice by not snagging them. You can get these anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks. We've got the Gap Straight Fit Chinos. They're very comfortable. I tend to throw these on when I don't feel like rocking denim and they're a little bit more lightweight. Straight fit, so there's a little extra material with them. This stone white color is different than that khaki brown or that dark tan that most people are gonna be recommending that you go out and get. Paired with something like this, the Abercrombie cardigan. This look right here, man, just an all lighter tone. I'm telling you, give this style a shot. Getting back to Nike, oh man. This cable knit sweater that released, I don't know, it was like early spring. It's still available and I love how comfortable it is. You gotta be cautious when you're rocking it because it can get snagged on anything really. This thing is just gonna give you a look that not much else will and the fact that you can see that swoosh. So subtle on there. Man, this is a gem. Definitely still worth picking up. I'll link it for you guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Then, come on, you knew it, you knew it. I've been rocking this heavily and I'm gonna continue to rock it heavily. It is just such a good fall jacket. We've got Eddie Wynn and Nautica. We've got all my favorite colors on here, that golden yellow, that forest green, and of course, it is reversible. I know a lot of you have went out and grabbed this jacket. I've gotten a lot of messages about people excited about this piece. It's the best from the collection, in my opinion, even though there are some gems like I mean, you already know, you already know. I've talked so much about my project with Nautica, but I am wearing this heavily. It is certainly something that is essential, that Spinnaker logo with the wind in the back. Let me show you what I got to rock with that jacket. I'm leaving the camera screen right now, which is a absolute no-no. But you know, man, you know these Air Force Ones are just gonna be dynamite with that jacket. If you snagged this thing, let me know how you have been enjoying it. So 10 fall essentials for you right there. I've dropped a lot of other videos. Go check them out. Make sure you subscribe. If you're new around here, hit that thumbs up and share the video. If you have some friends that need some fashion tips, make sure you share this video. That's a wrap for me though. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.